What is going on guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. As watch reviewers, we get all sorts of small brands reaching out to us on a regular basis to review watches. Even if I've never heard of the brand or I don't know about it, I'm always curious to find out what they have to offer because let's face it, it's a pretty cool hobby and it's always good to learn new things. Now, the watch that we're gonna look at today has a very weird and interesting design. And the reason why I say that is because it's in the same category as the Sega design I reviewed not too long ago. I think you have to be into the whole skeletonized design style for it to appeal to you, I think. The model is called the Hero X and the brand is Hero Natural U, an abbreviation of those three words that I won't even attempt to pronounce because I will get it 100% wrong. Now they reached out to me asking if I would be interesting, uh, interested in reviewing the watch and I mean why not, hence the paid promotion tag in the corner of the screen. But apart from that, they had no other input in the content of the review and you'll, as always, you'll get my unfiltered opinion. you find links into the description box below next to that subscription button. When I say you have to be into the style, I mean you have to want to wear this because of the way it looks and definitely not for its functionality. Just like the Sega, the legibility goes out the window. But as watch nerds, how many of us do actually use their watches to tell time? Now, in this case, unlike the Sega, this only costs a little over $150. It's not just the style that you have to be into, you also have to have the wrist for it. It has a very square footprint on the wrist with the widest point being a 54 millimeters. It also have, has a lug to lug of 53, a thickness of 13.3 and a lug width of 22 millimeters. I think it also has a very significant and noticeable presence on the wrist. And considering the fact that at first glance, the case looks like it has a lot of additional material, it does only weigh 112 grams. Now that weight is not felt on the wrist throughout the day. And speaking of the case, there is a lot going on. 316L stainless steel with a groove that runs on the entire side of the case, mostly for aesthetics purposes in my opinion. Now we also have an all brushed finish, which works well in my opinion with the style of the watch, all things considering. We'll have a couple of crown guards at the three o'clock position to protect the screw down crown that has a different finish. I mean, a different finish compared to the style of brushing that doesn't work with the case. And I don't know why actually we have a screw down crown because also this has a stated water resistance of 50 meters. It's not a big deal. I guess I think I'm just nitpicking But Then again, there are a lot of things on this watch that have a very wacky vibe. One thing that I do like is the fact that it's very solid and it feels like you're coming from the future with this thing on. Like the black fixed bezel, which by the way, looks like it's made out of ceramic with the silver metal insert. I mean, really, I mean, really, I don't see the point of that insert. They could have just had a black bezel and it would have looked a bit better. But then again, it wouldn't have had the wacky vibe that I keep mentioning. Another thing would be the four screws on each of the four corners on, on the case. I mean, are they just screws or are they there just for the design? Whatever they are, they all point in the same direction and they have a very symmetrical position, which to me indicates that someone didn't just put them there with no thought. I mean, you can tell that there are have a tiny, tiny bit of thought process behind the arrangement. And speaking of symmetry, let's address that dial because there is so much of it going on. It's covered by a flat piece of sapphire crystal with purple air coating, which really pops when the light hits it. I think in a weird way, it really works with the dial color where you can see what color this is. The entire dial has a skeletonized design with some numerals that may or may not make sense. You have minutes up until the quarter and only our markers at the 12, four and eight. The name is printed at the three in white, but I do believe it gets lost a little bit. Despite the skeletonized design, I think they could have just made a full dial to cover the movement. But again, I think it would have lost the kind of wacky vibe that it's trying to portray. As much as I really want to roast this, I can't because you really just have to take this for what it is. You can't really compare the functionality with a regular old fashioned watch. I mean, 
apart from the relatively limited legibility, the fact that you have some loom on the hands just does help with the whole legibility part a little bit because it doesn't last very, very long. Some sort of C3 re replacement that just is okay. One thing that I did kind of like, but it's it also confused me, as contradictory as that sounds, is the fact that if you turn the watch around, you have a display case back where you can see the movement. But that display case back is slightly tinted, so the movement can stand out, in my opinion. I don't know, when you look at it from the front. I mean, for contrast. I mean, it's nice, but since you really don't have a dial, you could have just had a full case back or a full see-through. Either way, I'm feeling generous today, so I'll just let that slide. And speaking of the movement, I wish I could give you more information or details about it, but I really can't because on the website there is no information about it. It's just called the SL2 from what I can find, but between you and me, I think it's just some sort of inexpensive seagull movement. It has 21,600 beats per hour, it hacks and it hand winds, and according to my app, I got minus six seconds per day, which is decent, I guess, given the price, but I have nothing to compare it with or any tolerances, so I'm not able to tell you. And also, I'm not sure about the power reserve. Because I don't know who produced it, I can't say anything about the reliability. Maybe, in a way, it kind of explains the overall low price of the watch. Another thing that is just little under decent is the strap that it came on. Black genuine leather secured between the lugs with some sort of screws. It's just relatively soft out of the box with matte finished hardware. It's just all right and it works, so I wouldn't be in a hurry to change it anytime soon, especially with those screws. I wish I can elaborate more on this, but it's nothing to elaborate. It does the trick and it's just all right. I've seen worse for a lot higher prices, but then again, I've seen better. What are my final conclusions? Well, you buy this for what it is because you want something on your wrist that doesn't cost you a lot of money. This is obviously not going to suit your day-to-day -day casual wear and it's just a conversation starter where you have to justify your watch addiction to your friends that are or aren't into watches because the people that are, are into watches might know exactly where you're coming from. And to be quite honest, I think everyone needs something weird on their wrist and you know, something like this in their collection. And why not? I think that's, that's why we do this. Anyway, that was it for me guys um, that was my review of the hero natural you i hope you enjoyed it again links down below let me know in the comment section what you think about the watch would it be something that you wear i want to hear from you uh, down below also thank you very much for watching click a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't so and i will see you guys in the next video bye